Hey, welcome to Linux Classroom, but more specifically Info 1933, which is securing and monitoring IT devices. As part of this class, you are required to rent an IoT kit, which will look like this and come in this nice blue box. So let's go ahead and open this box, see what's in here uh, to prepare you for this class. Let's go ahead and look at the box and see what's inside. Here we go. All right, the first thing you should look for is the main item, which is the Raspberry Pi computer. This is a great little powerful computer, size of a credit card. Let's go ahead and open it up. It should be in this anti-static bag. Set that aside. You notice, like I said, it's about credit card size. It's green in color, um, has some USB ports, an ethernet port, uh, your power plug is there. And on the bottom here is where you put your SD card. And we're going to show you that later. Well, maybe I'll show it to you right now. Let's go ahead and find it. So here's the SD card. Usually it should be in this container. Sometimes if you're getting this used, it's rental. Other students used it before you. Sometimes they won't put it back in here. Um, be careful with it. This is very, very fragile, this little tiny card. Uh, sometimes you will find it inserted into the Raspberry Pi. Never force these things. Make sure that those little metal connectors are on the same side as the green motherboard when you slide it in. And it should just slide in like that. It won't still stick out a little bit. So if you don't see the SD card in its actual container, go ahead and check the Raspberry Pi and you may see it in there. We're going to take this out for just a moment. We'll put that down and we'll put this back in its little container there. You will also need a power supply for your Raspberry Pi. Uh, USB-C at the end, and then this obviously plugs into a power outlet. That'll help you power your Raspberry Pi and turn it on. We have a microcontroller here called an Arduino board that we get to play with. Um, and make sure you also have the corresponding USB cable with this type of connection and then the A connection. This will usually just plug right into here. And then for the most part, this will plug into a USB port in the Raspberry Pi most of the time, but not always. So make sure you have both of those items. You also have a breadboard. Comes part of it. This just looks uh, like a white board with some pegs in it, some holes in it, where you can put some wires in it, and we'll show you those in a second here. Then finally, we have a USB to UART. This all kind of looks like a USB thumb drive or something like that, but it kind of has these prongs here in the back. And you should have these wires that should be able to slip on there as well. That will show you how to use this a little bit later. This is what we'll use to connect to our Raspberry Pi. Then you should have some type of envelope. Um, hopefully, if not, um, these parts are kind of small. So look around your kit carefully and make sure they still are in there. The first thing we'll look at is some of these jumper cables. You should have three. It looks like I have two here. Let's see if we can find the other one here. So you should have three of these cables. You see I have one, two, three. One's brown, one's kind of a dark purple, one's white there. They are, you should have three of them. You only actually, I believe, need two, but we give you three just in case. Um, they're tiny. They plug right into the breadboard down here. And then the corresponding one usually goes right here to the Arduino board, one of these pegs here. Like that, and this is how we'll get connectivity between the two devices. So make sure you have some of those jumper cables. Oh, also in the bag, let's go ahead and open those up. You have a few other things. First thing you'll have is some resistors. We'll need some of those uh, for our projects. And you'll have some LED lights. They can be uh, different colors of the same color. The color doesn't really matter. Uh, hopefully we gave you some variety there as part of your kit and we'll stick these will also go into the breadboard This is kind of where we put everything together is right in there These you'll take these little tag if they have these little tags on you can just pull those tags off and those plug into there as well And we'll build some cool IOT devices with this nice kit. I hope you've enjoyed this So this is our IOT kit. We'll get into more detail a little bit later as to how to use everything here. And uh, we'll have a lot of fun in this class. And I hope this has been useful to you and hope you have a great day.